You know, it pissed me off, though. It's not like I was no big deal. You know, it pissed me off how they don't care about us. And this guy, piece of garbage, they act like he's just so innocent. And Kate Steinle's family is mourning forever. Jamil, tell us a little bit more about your son. He was a good kid. You know, he was doing everything he was supposed to do. You know, we were... So when he was five years old, I started working with him in sports. I was determined to get him a scholarship. We played baseball, basketball, football, two baseball seasons a year, winter, summer, two basketball seasons, played football, ran track. We were playing golf. I was trying everything. I just was determined that I had to get him to college. And, you know, I had to get him to the promised land. 18 was my goal. I got him to 17 in two months. It's such you know, a You know, and tragic... to see him, just all that hard work. Yeah, it's such all a that tragic hard work story. For and there's so many other families. I mean, this is what we're learning about. Um, let's take a look at, I want you to take a look at this clip from last night um, from Reverend uh, Ryan Eller, the executive director of Define American. Um, uh, let's take a look at this clip. I think where we start getting into uh, really troubled waters is uh, when we, you know, talk more about uh, sanctuary cities and relationships between local governments and federal governments and somehow make this more about immigrants and immigration as opposed to this really tragic and uh, unfortunate case. In Leviticus, it says, treat the immigrant uh, as a citizen among you. I pay my taxes as a citizen to my local government to protect local taxpayers, and those taxpayers include undocumented Americans. Okay, so Jamel, he's citing Leviticus, which I get it, okay. but ultimately you're saying legal status matters. Of course it does, and he knows that. That's why he's running, talking that mumbo jumbo, just because he has on his collar. He thinks that he's an expert. They always want you to walk a mile in their shoes. Why don't they walk a mile in our shoes? How about he gets in a casket, we'll bury him for a while so he can see what it feels like to be dead, you know? He think it's all good that we're so, you know, I don't care about legal aliens, you know. My son was murdered. He was walking down the street in America. He actually thought he could do that, and he was wrong. He was shot dead by a legal alien on his third gun charge. And then we hear people like that want us to turn the other cheek. I mean, why do we have laws? We got illegal aliens in the gangs We're on their third gun charge, you know. And then we're supposed to just be okay with our family members being dead, you know. Why, why don't he jump in the cask and see what it feel like? incredibly powerful. You're saying so much of this is also resistance to Trump. Oh, yeah, that was the main thing. You know, I mean, the people down there and the jury, they were all activists, you know, left wing nut jobs. You know, you got the prosecutors. They did us the same way, Pete, when we were in, in, in L.A. did the same thing, but I wouldn't go for it. We had to get rid of two prosecutors. We had to change judges. I had to pretty much say I I'll burn the city down if you guys don't try to do that. They did the exact same thing with mm. Kate Steinle, but they couldn't get away with it because the district attorney was a conservative. Mm. And you did get a death penalty for him. J Jamil, your story is powerful. We're yes. so grateful that you're telling it. It's such an important time. Thank, Thank you, you for coming on. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work.